Mizzy leaves to finish off the 12. Yeah, brighter start so far. Whoa, but here comes Adam Lipscomb. Got your Pops in the first max of the session. Will it all be in vain? Tops. Game short in the first well, beautiful there. start. Scott Taylor. Didn't Adam expect that. 24. Well, go on, Adam. Dip your bread in the gravy. Game and he has been different gravy match. this week. Can he has beaten go. the champion. And that's only the second defeat that Scott Taylor's had in three days here in Portsmouth. It keeps him honest. Lipscomb now moves within six. Duff can now move to within four points if he can get the better of Nigel Lloyd after this short break. Maybe years ago, your parents wouldn't sort of even think about that being a, a career path for you now, but my goodness, those times have changed. Great dart, great find. Gives himself a dart, a double 6D for 112. Superb for Nigel Lloyd. Lloyd. Keeps Lloyd. him going in the match, keeps the match going. Duff now forced to serve it out, 3-1. Four points difference between the pair. That's the second time this leg where Duff has strayed wide into the five. And so it now means just a solitary dart Game of the ball, but he only needed a dart of the ball. Nailed Neil Duff. Duff puts the pressure on Scott Taylor at the top of the table. It's a 4-1 victory for him against Nigel Lloyd. A sign of respect there from Neil against an opponent who he's watched for three days now. That's the tail of the take. Coming up next, Hendricks against Allen. Asked why is sporty, why is the Super Series not on Sporty Stuff TV anymore? Because Sporty Stuff TV is no longer on TV. That'd be some kind of magic Game trick. Well, there's the a bit of magic there, there from Jimmy Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix. Jimmy, you require forty. Absolutely incredible. Hendrix is back for tops. An opportunity he probably didn't think he was going to get. Thirty, and a chance he can't take. 18. And so Alan to get over the line, he Going finds the double nine, the and for the third day Anthony in Allen. succession, Anthony Allen wins his first match of the day. He beats Jimi Hendrix by four legs to two. It puts him onto ten points in the group, a couple behind Adam Lipscomb, who's got to play Neil Duff on the other side of this short break. Adam, you require eighty-four. For three, two. Two twelves again. Game this time he pins it. Flare. And from 2 0 down, let's go. turn this game on its head. And I mean, requires 64. For the match. It's a dial at Tots for Lipscomb. Pins the tops and for 2 0 behind. Adam Lipscomb has won 4 2. And it is 2 from 2 as far as the day is concerned for him. It puts him into second position. It puts him onto 14 points. It puts him four behind Scott Taylor. But he can move himself effectively on the hill if he can be Anthony Allen after this short break. And to quote the great John Wall, in the way Scott Taylor's going, there could be a break at the end of this leg. One hundred and eighty. It's another max. Whoa, and one from Allen. He's got your required 84. First leg was one in 15. The second was one in 13. The third Game is one in 14. The and the champion Scott Taylor. is sprinting to the line. And on the cusp of putting himself on the hill. The average 104.22. Are you actually on about creative content? Boom. Oh, Game what an incredible Shot performance. The, the performance Scott of Taylor. a champion by the champion, Scott Taylor. 104.22, three from five on the doubles. Absolutely incredible from him. We've been waiting for a performance like that since he posted 105 on Monday. He's carded another one here and he has carved apart Anthony Allen. Coming up after the break, Lloyd Hendricks. A bit slow. Well, someone like Scott Mitchell went and seen a, a sports psychologist and he said he had to pace out the steps between the hockey and the retrieval and it was all timed. Game shot in the third. It's a funny old game, isn't Jimmy it? Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix slots away. The Tum Plus out. Jimmy require 104. But yeah, the, the dark arts used to be way more prevalent back in the day. Double four. 
Going Beautiful short finishing. Of four flag. Jimmy Hendrix. For the match, for 4 2 win, it'll move them on to eight points in the group. It's going to be two in hand at double 16, and now up for double eight. Game Found. Shot out it's a match. win. It's the relief Jimmy for Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. He gets over the line. He's back in the winner's enclosure. And you can tell the relief on his face as he got the better of Nigel Lloyd by four legs to two. Two ton plus checkouts in there. And a 4 2 success. Coming up after the break, we're going to kick off round three with Adam Lipscomb up against Anthony Allen. He's Anthony back for double court, 10 to take up the opening leg against Throw. Moves across. Oh, what can he see of that? Good luck, sir. Good luck. Oh, Game what a fight. The first leg. That is an incredible Anthony dart Allen. from Anthony Allen. The love Anthony of apples. Lipscomb looking to bop the 1 2 1, double 14. Game oh, he picked it apart leg. beautifully. Adam it's the second Lipscomb. time he's taken that out in two days. Double four. Two twos. It's Five. been a bit of a mess from Lipscomb. And it could undo him here one. because Allen, who looked like a spectator in this leg, now has three at double Game six for the match. the match. And he only needs Anthony the one. Allen. He beats Adam Lipscomb by four legs to one. That ends his chances of winning Group A. For Anthony Allen, well, a bit more of a sprig at his step. Today's been a better day for Shaggy. He puffs out the cheeks. He gets over the line. 4-1 the margin of win. And so it means if Jimi Hendrix beats Neil Duff, the champ is into Saturday night. Well, he found the smallest target on the ball, Neil but he couldn't find the 25. tops. And that could be curtains. Because Duff wants double 12. Game for a 4 nil success. It Neil was a professional Duff. performance from Neil Duff. An average of 83 and a half. He toiled towards the line on the doubles, but other than that, it was a real solid display from the former WDF world champion. A 4 nil win against Jimi Hendrix means that Taylor is going to have to bat it out. If he beats Nigel Lloyd, the champ is into Saturday night. Scott, you require 70. So, Scott, 70 for the first leg with throw. It'd be the first of four that he needs for the final. He loves the 14's route on it. The, the trouble for the end. double. And Scott Taylor is one Taylor. up. Three more, and he'll be into Saturday. He's going to get another two more at tops. So you don't expect to miss. Got to navigate around that Eight blocker, but it does beautifully. Bed. Scott Taylor. Taylor comes back Scott, for another well. opportunity to seal his progression through. Game and the champion is the still match. in the race to retain Scott his Taylor. crown. Scott Taylor will head through to Saturday night's final and head through at a canter. He beats Nigel Lloyd by four legs to nil and Scott Taylor will progress through to tomorrow night's final. The defending champion at times played like a champion. At times have had to draw in on all of his experience. On that occasion, a 91 average, four from eight on the doubles. He beats Nigel Lloyd by four legs to nil. And so the champion is through to Saturday night's final. Coming up after the break, we're going to watch Anthony Allen and Neil Duff go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And this would effectively seal off what happens as far as Group B and C is concerned. Remember, he was bottom of the group after day one. Game but Neil Duff first, will be then. into Neil tomorrow Duff. night's session. He'll be into Group B. That breaker throw confirms his place through. Why 100? So it's going to be a There'll still be plenty of doubles hit, though. Can Duff find Game one? Yes, he does. Breaks throw, leads 3-2. In the match. Doesn't go. And so Duff to eventually get over the line. He's led all the way through, but Anthony Allen has been a hard object to overcome. 28. He is dug in, and he is dug in. But Game Duff gets over the line. In the first, Neil last leg to side of the day, he gets the better of Anthony Allen by four legs to three. It confirms his place in Group B. It puts Lipscomb on the cusp of Group B. He takes on Nigel Lloyd next, wins that one. Well, everything's settled with five games to go. Shanghai on 19s. 
58. Adam here requires 24. So, for a 4 1 victory, Adam Lipscomb looking for Go double 12, pinning double 12. We know Lipscomb. he's going to be into tomorrow night's session. That puts the rubber stamp and seal on it. Lipscomb 4, Lloyd 1. Scott Taylor, the defending champion in action, up next. When he takes on Jimi Hendrix. Ultimately, the players have had lots of success here have gone on to get tour cards. Double, double, and it is second, double man. trouble for Scott Jimmy Taylor. Hendricks, Hendricks leads 2 0. Challenge tomorrow afternoon and leak another name early. Oh, my, he's no busted. Score. Jimmy he's busted. It's a 180. That means absolutely nothing. Too perfect. And Hendricks has now got six of the match. 100. Well, that is an unforced error we did not expect to see from the reigning champion. The good news is he can't bust it now. 100. Jimmy requires 60. For the match and for a 4 1 win. Double top for double 10. Going and a 4 1 victory match. for Jimmy Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix. Scott Taylor almost shakes his hand. Always embarrassment about what happened there. Busting the 180. But Jimmy Hendrix, well, a 4 1 victory. 78 35. The average won a classic game. But it's one in the books. Lloyd Allen next. 3 0 down. Could seal the comeback win here. Going and Lloyd will seal the comeback match. win. The arms are locked in the air. Lloyd. That means so much to him. Anthony Allen shakes his hand, having squandered a free deal lead. Lloyd four, Allen three. Next up, Taylor and Duff. Match. And that is perfectly laid for double 18. And that would have been to have sent him into Saturday in style. For Darth, it'll be a campaign so tomorrow and Friday night where he'll fancy his chances in Group B. Go but the defending the champion match. is very Scott much in Taylor. the race to reclaim his crown. Scott Taylor is the man once again at the Super Series. Winner of Group A again into Saturday night again. And he'll be hoping to do it all over again. A 4-1 victory against Neil Duff rounds off his Group A campaign. One more match to go. Adam Lipscomb and Jimi Hendrix follows this. This could well be the halfway point of the match. It's double 16. 14 Game followed by a 12. Match. Hendrix leads 2-0. Averaging 115.62. 26 darts to what could be the halfway Look, point. Adam to throw first. Yeah, what's Adam doing? I can't believe it. He's losing to someone averaging 116. 180. To take us all the way. If I only have one game go the distance today. Double die. Make that two. Game shot on the sixth flag. We go all the way. We Adam go to a decider. Get your ticket at www.dartshop.tv. A wonderful day raising money for charity. All ticket money going to that charity. Going to get a dart for the match at tops. Go and let's go and we'll end with a win and a last leg to Sider. He beats Jimi Hendrix by four legs to three. Lipscomb the victor. Lipscomb in second place in the table. But it was Scott Taylor who dominated proceedings as far as Group A was concerned. He was an enigmatic, emphatic winner. And we're going to go and have a chat with him after this short break. Well, it's this man's title and he is still very much in the race to reclaim it. Scott Taylor through to Saturday night's final. What's your initial thoughts on the last three days? They're not very good, to be honest. Uh, some of the performances were really bad, so I need to work on that and get it right for Saturday. We've with you this week because we saw at times 
in the background, a little bit unhappy with yourself, a little bit unhappy with your game. Yeah, just struggling with my shoulder a little bit and then just tightened up and it got worse and worse. So went back to the old darts. So went in for about five minutes and then back to normal. Does it say a lot though about yourself as a player that you haven't played at your bit rolling best, but you're still able to go on and win groups, particularly of the calibre of players that we've got here yeah, this I got week? Away. I got away with a lot this week, so a bit better. Um, I'll take it though, free to Saturday and that's all that matters. Well, we'll have a look at some of the best of your highlights over the course of the last few days or so. This is in particular today. One thing you did have in your repertory was that top. So when you needed it, by and large, that was the one thing that was helping you out. Yeah, it def definitely pulled me out a bit. So um, I'm happy with it. Some of the doubles, but scoring wasn't really there. I, I know it's hard, but did you feel like sometimes you were being allowed to coast a little bit too much and you were yeah. having to switch off and switch on, which is hard to do. Yeah. I feel like, especially Adam, Adam, I feel like Adam was most consistent out of us all by, by a long way, to be fair, but even he let me off a few the first few days, so I'll take it. But when you, when you needed that real big performance, you, you, it's in there. Yeah, it's, it's just finding that balance of yeah. when you do switch off, it's how to switch it back on. I think even the last game against Adam yesterday, when he went to all and I, th I think he went 14 or 11 or something like that, it just pulled me out of it a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's tough to rely on all the time. Yeah. Do you want to ask you about something a little bit earlier on? The 180. <laughs> the 180. I thought it was on 200. Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was on, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't normally look at the score, so I just thought it was on 200. I, don't, I, just, I looked at um, Owen and he <laughs> just threw it. I, don't, I actually went for it and I, just, <laughs> I didn't realise until I was like, oh, I don't know. Uh, At least then. you didn't celebrate it because yeah. that would have been much worse. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was on 200. Not, not as good as the Shane Burgess one years ago when we first started playing the what was well, what became the Grand Prix. And so many players would do it, you'd forget to go to double the start. And it was his throw and he started with a 180. And he went, oh no. <laughs> but it turns to yourself, a couple of days off. Do you feel like that's going to be needed just to kind of regroup yourself ahead of Saturday? Yeah, definitely. Um, I need to just go back to the drawing board and start playing how I've been doing because it's been good. But put me in, it's not quite worked. Have you found being defending champion as well? Has that been something you've embraced or has that been an extra little bit of pressure? It's, got, it's gone now, isn't it? So I've just got. Um, can't rely on that for the rest of my life. Got to carry on and make it happen again. If he's like me, he spent the money already. <laughs> <laughs> she, she has. <laughs> and you're the type of player. I mean, we even saw it when you when you won that title. You're a player that you're very proud to win that title. But it's a game. It's happened. And you're you're one of those that very quick to me. You're not one that's kind of surrounded by the bravado of the sport. Yeah, once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it. So you just got to move on and make sure you do better next time and keep winning. Try and win some more. How has your life and your darts changed since that win? Nothing much really, still, still going back to work and try, try and play as much as I can, but I've, I've been struggling with my shoulder, I've had a bit of a niggle on my ankle, so it's not been too much really, but um, let's carry on with what, what's been happening. But one thing that Scott Taylor tends to do here at the Super Series is win. Scott, many congratulations, we'll see you into Saturday night's final. Let's round up then what we've seen today. These are the results from the 15 matches and it was fair to say, Chris, it was a job that got done fairly early on. Yeah, it's what we felt when we discussed it this morning. The, the, the initial game there, losing to Adam, it was, for Adam, he had a bit of a free shot there because it, it didn't really, the, the result didn't really affect Scott too much. And especially when he bounced straight back with a 4-0 win over Anthony Allen, it was, it was, it was not if, it, it was when. And it, that was done pretty early. And, and that's, that's what I was just it, sort of trying to explain to the viewers. When you're, when you're in that scenario, you, you do want to play well, but you tend to just pick your moments. It's hard to really, it's really difficult to switch on mentally when you play darts, knowing that it's job done. And in the penultimate game, you did that. And then in the final game, you think, right, let's, let's give it one last push. You know it's your last game. And you, and you had a fabulous match against yeah. Neil Duff. Well, let's have a look then at the table following the end of proceedings. It looks very good for Scott, 24 points. Adam Mitzke and Neil Duff second and third. Now we were mentioning at the top of the show, weren't we Chris, about the, the difference in the numbers between the top three players and the bottom three players of the group. And when you look at the final table, it was most certainly the case in point. Yes, yeah, statistically when we, when we look over all the metrics, the, the top three were far superior in the numbers, but they're probably, with the exclusion of Jimi Hendrix, who's just on the, on the road back at the moment, uh, they're the most experienced players, you know, Scott, the, the reigning champion, Adam's had multiple opportunities here, it's not quite worked out for him, and Neil Duff, a, a weekly winner, and won the specials week just a, just a matter of weeks ago, so no real surprise to 
to see that table and the positioning of that table. It was six to five Monday, and I thought that was a that was a big, big price, especially off the back of being the champion the last time here, having so much success. Well, the champion is into the final. We can confirm it now by having a look at the tournament bracket. Scott Taylor's name in the Group A winner's enclosure. He enjoys a couple of days off. Group B is going to see Adam Lipscomb, Neil Dove, Devon Peterson, Chris Quantock and Chaz Barstow in action. And Group C will see Joe Croft, Steve Hine and Johnny Stewart joined alongside the bottom three players in Group A. That is Anthony Allen, Jimi Hendrix and Nigel Lloyd. And I suppose you're getting to the point now, Scott, where winning Group A's are becoming second next. Is there anything reports of that you haven't seen now? No, not really. I think, I think that's, that might be the first time I've actually won Group A, actually. I think, I think normally I'm um, second or third and then go into Group B. But um, I'm happy to get through, so it doesn't matter how you get to Saturday, just that you there. Rest, recharge, that the order of the day now? Definitely. Well, we'll let you get on and do that. Scott, many congratulations. We'll see you on Saturday night. We've got a busy day tomorrow, haven't we? We'll, uh... Yeah, 25, uh, 25 matches to get through tomorrow, double session day. Right, I'll see you for that. Break and easy in the morning. Get your rest up. We'll see you tomorrow as well. Double session kicking off from 1 o'clock. And then from 10 o'clock, we're going to see a former World Cup star in action. Bye from us.